morning here's a piece of my daily bread so i was reading into into exodus and it is at the part where israel has already left egypt uh, which is in my bible is in the hebrew word of mitzrayim so if i hear if you hear mitzrayim it's egypt and god has done amazing things all the plagues are showing himself who he is that he is god blah 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 all the way up there and um then they come to the Sea of Reeds and they see Pharaoh and his chariots and his horsemen coming after him. And by the way, as God has been leading them out of Mitzrayim into this, through the wilderness, into where, where they are now, uh, he's been leading them in a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire by night. Um, okay, so he knows something's going to happen. He says that I shall strengthen the heart of Pharaoh and he shall pursue them. But I am to be esteemed through Pharaoh and all of his army and the Mitzrites shall know that I am Yahweh. Mitzrites are Egyptians. Okay, so God knows I got to do this next thing. But here, after everything God's done and all that Israel has seen, we get to this part. Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted their eyes and saw the Mitzrites coming after them, and they were greatly afraid. So the children of Israel cried out to Yahweh. And they said to Moshe, Moses, Moshe is his Hebrew name, did you take us away to die in the wilderness because there are no burial sites in Mitzrayim? That's great sarcasm. What is this you have done to us to bring us out of... Um, to bring us up out of Mitzrayim. Is this not the word that we spoke to you in Mitzrayim, saying, leave us alone and let us serve the Mitzrites, for it had been better for us to serve the Mitzrites than to die in the wilderness. I don't know about you, but remember when uh, Yahweh was going to get Moses and was like, you know, hey, I've heard the cries of my people, my children, Israel, and I'm going to send you to where we're going to get them out because I hear them crying for me pretty much, right? And now they're just saying, didn't we say to leave us alone and leave us here? We'd rather be slaves to the Mitzrites than to die in the wilderness. And I'm thinking like, uh, after all God's done to show himself to you and to the Egyptians, he's literally in a pillar of cloud and pillar of fire for you. And you're still questioning his ability or that you just don't trust him. And we all know that after the Sea of Reeds, when they get through and uh, he is esteemed um, by what he does and how Pharaoh and his um, chariots and his horsemen and everything's just gone. We obviously know that the 40 years of wilderness happened. 40 years in the wilderness happened. I just blows my mind because we here aren't experiencing God in that kind of manner, right? Where he's literally in our face in a pillar of cloud and fire, you know, seeing those plagues and this and that and all these things, right? We're not seeing that. And by the way, it does say here, so after he had, um, he had separated the waters, they had gone through, Pharaoh and his men are chasing after them, right? The Mitzrites pursued and went after them into the midst of the sea, all the horses of Pharaoh, his chariots and horsemen. And it came to be in the morning, in the morning watch, that Yahweh looked down upon the army of the Mitzrites, the Egyptians, through the column of fire and cloud, and he brought the army of the Mitzrites into confusion. And he took off his chariot wheels, so that drove him with difficulty. And the Mitzrites said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for Yahweh fights for them against the Mitzrites. All this is happening. And Israel's just like, We'd rather go be slaves. I mean, we all know, I mean, obviously they said that before this, but we all know after this, they still had made multiple comments. You just brought us out here to die in the wilderness. And I'm just like, if we can have God that way, could you imagine if we could have God like that right now? Wow. Anyways, I thought I'd share a piece of my daily bread with you. I, thought, I hope you guys found that interesting as much as I did. Shalom and blessings to you all.